Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Drong, a hobbyist photographer and videographer, but in this video we are going to react and analyze one of the most controversial and bizarre commercials that has come out out of my homeland of the Philippines. But first, to set the stage, the reason why this commercial is controversial and has garnered a lot of viral sensation is because most of the commercials in the Philippines tend to be more emotional. Usually themes around family, usually themes about a loved one, weirdly a lot of kids and death in them. Philippines has always been a very familial country, so it needs to be more on the wholesome end, more on the very clear message end. Lots of twists here and there, but um, again, the most co the commercials that have had the most traction or the most shares and likes has always been things that tug on the heartstrings. But this one is unique because this is, again, bizarre. The commercial was made by the ad agency Gigil. It they're fairly new, uh, three years old, but they've already garnered a couple of awards. But the other cool note there is Gigil in Filipino is very hard to translate into English. The closest related word to it would be passion. And though passion is the closest analogous to the word Gigil, uh, it's best described as, pardon me, this image. That's what Gigil is. So it's kind of like, you want something that much or you're so excited about a little bit of a certain something, a little bit of combination of both. So that's what Giggle is. Very cute note because um, it, it's a very interesting name for an ad agency. Uh, I downloaded the uh, commercial from the official YouTube channel of RC Cola. Unfortunately, they don't have a version that has English subtitles. It is just straight out Filipino subtitles. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna run the minute and 57 commercial. I'll pause in parts and translate, plus also add some of my insights on uh, what they're setting up and what's happening in. And what makes it so memorable? What made their commercial very effective for the Philippine audience, but also kind of garners more attention uh, across the globe. So without further ado, let's go straight into the commercial. All right. First of all, I downloaded this from the official site. So first comment, the black matte bars. Not a big fan, but all right, downloading it from YouTube. Uh, let's go, I just would have preferred that the actual aspect ratio was the downloadable file and not put black matte bars on top, but here we go. Yes. Oh, yes. Am I adopted? So immediately it's already very dramatic. It sets up the tone of any traditional commercial in the Philippines, which is again, familial tugs on the heartstrings. Dramatic. Stop and again. She said, who told you that? But if you can already see, you have a dark skinned child and a fair skinned mother child has curly hair the mother has fairly straight hair so they're already setting up this adoption kind of idea uh, he said ma they are always teasing me that i am an adopted kid an adopted child so setting up a little bit of bullying there a little bit of more emotion very dramatic again Mom said, don't let other people's words affect you. But mother, <laughs> tell me the truth. Am I adopted? But here, if you're for eagle-eyed people right there, uh, previous frames, clear face now, I think they're already starting to you know, drop hints of a little bit of comedy there because if this was more traditional commercial, they wouldn't put snot on the kid. And I think that's, uh, some people might find it off-putting, but they're setting something up. That visual, remember that? Backpad had a little bit of a hole there. 
Am I adopted? Explain this to me, mother. May paliwanag mo bakit may apat na baso ko sa likod. Explain why there are four glasses on my back. So if you remind that back, you would see that one was a little bit of, of jarring. Why is he stripping in front of his mom? But they, he immediately uh, transitioned to this. <laughs> We've been hiding this from you for such a long time. But it's time for you to know. Yeah. Same. Good job, RC Cola. Let's pause at this image. This worked because, again, traditionally, most Filipino commercials will be extremely comedic, but never this weird. Just this image alone, you can see, you know, presumably that's a dad, presumably that's the sister. The mom is drinking her own soda from her neck. Where's that? liquid going. Her head is not connected to her body anymore. They're all drinking mom soda. But this is a very cute and fun image to start our discussion with. Yeah, I mean, this worked because you hit them with something that is uh, applicable for most dark-skinned kids in the Philippines. Although racism is not that rampant in third world, particularly in the Philippines, you know, kids will be kids. If you're dark-skinned, you're short, or you're too white or too tall, they'll find a way to tease you. So hit them with something that will be relatable for kids, but also for parents who feel here for their kids. Uh, again, it's a very familial country. And then you have the, the kid strip, show glass in his back. Mom takes her head off and pour RC Cola in it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good combination of you have the dramatic, the emotive start and then slap them with something a little bit weird, a little bit of a cool graphics in there. A lot of comedy there too. Yeah, uh, the first time that I saw this, I thought, why? <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. And then I researched a little bit more. And even the owners of Giga, the agency that made this commercial, admitted that there's no real meaning in it. They were trying to hit the Gen Z audience where you don't need 10 explanations of something or 10 interpretations of something to like a particular thing. They, if you find something that you like, you know, showcase it and that's it. And they really tried to go for something that is fun, comedic, viral. And I think they really succeeded. An article from the Philippine Star showcased that within the first few weeks, they had 4 million views, 200,000 shares. So this was a very, very strong showing from the ad agency Gigil. I'm glad that the people from RC Cola, the executives from RC Cola uh, were adventurous enough to try this out. But for me, somebody who has not been in the Philippines for you know a little bit over a decade, growing up there, I love seeing the progression of the culture. This is more fun, more out there, combining the old with the new, both family and weirdness, viral and traditional. That was the commercial for RC Cola made by the ad agency Gigil. It's entitled Family, but they have a different, longer YouTube title name that I'll, I'll show on your screen right now. It's, it's weird, they're just trying to be weird. I, I really love it. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can launch to the actual page of RC Cola and watch the commercial in full for your viewing pleasure. Tell me what you think. Let's discuss the weirdness of this particular commercial. And if you're a fellow Filipino and you have other fun commercials for me to react to, review, and analyze, hit me up. Put it down in the comments. Uh, I'll make sure to reply. I'll make sure to watch it. I'll make sure to discuss it with you all. So thank you for visiting the channel and I hope I see you again. With that, see you in the next video.